Today we'll be taking a look at the Hopkins Taillight Converter Kit with 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector. Now this is going to be a hard wire 4-Pole connection for our vehicle. So it's going to give us our turn light signals, our stop and taillight signals to be converted to work with our accessory, whether that's our 4-Pole wiring on our trailer or a cargo carrier maybe that has some lights on it that use that 4-Pole flat or any other situation where we need that, what, that light connection. Basically, this is going to be a pretty simple install to do, but it does, again, require hard wiring or cutting and splicing into your vehicle's taillights. So we're going to be pulling the power from our vehicle's taillights. You'll make your connections uh, by cutting into the passenger side turn signal. That's going to be for the green wire. The yellow wire is our driver side turn signal. Red wire will be our brake signal. Brown wire will be the park or tail light signals or your running lights. And then the white wire is going to be the ground. It already comes with a ring terminal already installed, so you can just pop that onto maybe an existing ground if you have one in your vehicle um, uh, or a ground stud. Really anywhere where there's a bolt going into the metal that's going to create a good connection, or if not, you can always use a self-tapping screw to go into a good piece of sheet metal on your vehicle to provide that good chassis ground. So this is pretty much going to work on just about any vehicle since we're making that direct connection into our vehicle's wiring. We'll have our electrical taillight converter box here that's going to convert those signals into a usable signal for our four pole and help to prevent any kind of back feed between the two. So we'll know our vehicle's wiring is protected from any issues that might arise on our trailer side. But again, this is a hard wire system. You're going to have to cut and splice into your vehicle's wiring. So this is really designed for those applications where we don't have another option. There's no custom fit wiring available and this is what the route that we need to go. If you forget which wire goes where, there is a little key on the back of this converter box it's, uh, embossed into the plastic there. So again, green is going to be right turn, red is for brake, left turn is yellow, brown is tail or marker lights, and then white is ground, and that corresponds directly to the other side. So it's all lined out there, makes it a little easier if you happen to forget which wire goes where. As far as the specs for this, amps per circuit is going to be 2.1 amps, so that's how much draw we're going to have for our lighting signal. The overall length of our wiring harness is 72 inches, or about 6 feet. And this doesn't come with any kind of butt connectors or zip ties, there's no self-tapping screw, so those are all things that you would want to pick up to complete your install. You can find all of those accessories here at eTrailer.com, including heat shrink butt connectors, which I would highly suggest if any of these connections have to go outside the vehicle. It's just best to use those heat shrinks because they're going to keep any water, dirt, or debris from getting into that connection and causing any corrosion issues. Zip ties are also a good idea to keep everything nice and tidy have some around the wires here so that's going to help to keep your wires up and out of the way and keep them from getting dislodged or any um, you don't want your wires hanging in and then getting rubbed against any kind of sharp edges and causing issues there so a few items that I would definitely suggest to pick up before you get to installing your wiring. But all in all I hope that information is helpful in helping you to determine whether you need the Hopkins taillight converter kit with the four-pole flat trailer connector.